we're here to build adventurous leaders. Thanks for having us. It's been a really inspiring day um, of action. So what are we tackling? Well, over 90% of kids in America don't eat their fruits and vegetables. This is an age-old problem. And when my co-founder and I, Dave, um, we're trying to understand the obesity epidemic where one third of kids are either overweight or obese. We were fascinated with the question of how do we get kids to eat healthy if they don't want to? So this is an example of a school in Fruitvale that we went to and they get free fresh fruits and vegetables and those sandwiches are actually from a company that prizes themselves on delicious healthy food. And all of this is being thrown out because the kids refused to eat them. They chose to go hungry. And if any of you guys have kids, if any of you guys were a kid, this is probably a familiar story. 40% of parents experience mealtime struggles. They can't get their kids to eat what they want. And oftentimes, that is the broccoli. And when you know, you're trying to get kids to eat broccoli versus SpongeBob mac and cheese or Happy Meals, of course the healthy food option is going to lose. This is just the way that it is. Um, my family grew up pretty healthy, but I became obsessed with Happy Meal Beanie Babies that I actually changed the way my family ate. And this happens all the time. So this is the power of marketing and media. I'm an illustrator, and also my background is in behavioral change in the tech industry. So I want to figure out how to use the power of marketing and media for good. And so we created Planet Merple. And this is a fantastical world that doesn't exist here, but it's there. And we're here to help build happy, healthy relationships to food with kids. And the way we do this is we create media. This fantastical world is full of Merples, and their planet is made entirely of fruits and vegetables. Um, this one is going on an adventure with Mr. Pear on a pepper boat. And so if you look at um, our website or YouTube, we have more stories like this, where food is actually joyful, not something you're told to do. Kids can experience Merple through our digital shorts and our adventures. And then what's really neat is that we are about behavior change. Um, we, our mission is to make exploring and preparing natural food a magical experience. We have a recipe app where Merple actually guides kids and their guardians step by step on how to make story themed dishes, dishes like these stuffed pepper boats. And we're also selling and building kitchen accessories like a child safe knife um, and toys that make it easier and more fun to get kids in the kitchen. So we did a pilot this summer with 25 families. We built a bunch of different products in the beta app, and it was really promising. Most importantly, it was that over 80% of kids gave Marble the most fun rating. And that's important, because we want this to be kid demanded. But what was equally as important is 90% of parents actually said they would recommend the Marble experience to their friends and family as well. Why? Because this actually brought them together. This reimagined family rituals around food that used to be full of dread and pain, rejection, and thanklessness. And so we had parents glowing about their kids actually asking for bell peppers and cauliflowers. They said, wow, it's actually not a nuisance to have a kid in the kitchen because it's actually easier. We're training them to be a kitchen helper. And there was a lot of pride in building self-sufficient and curious individuals growing up. So this is a big market. Parents of four to eight year olds are always looking for enriching activities and the time is particularly ripe since there's an interest in food and health. So this is a $69.4 billion market and we're gonna tackle that through four channels. Online, through YouTube and social media, we've already started partnerships with schools um, as well as markets and meal kit companies where parents are already thinking about what to make their kids for dinner. So our goal is to really build up this media side of things, build the app, and actually start the starter kit. Um, this is our team. Dave is a teacher and a health educator, um, and he's also I'm an artist as well as strategist. Uh, what we're we've already been um, part of Berkeley Haas, the public health program, um, as well as accelerator with GSV Labs and Google Developer Launchpad. 
Um, but what we are planning right now is a January 2017 release of our app. And we already have all these partners that want to work with us right now. Um, we're looking for an engineer to help our team of developers actually move this forward and carry out our vision. So happy to talk to you more, and thank you so much. Hey, so it, it sounds like you've kind of like created this like media world that people are supposed to love and fall in love with and then kind of you're using that love and engagement to like sell products that are like tied into the world. So I'm, I'm kind of curious, like at your stage today, like how, how are you like dividing your like time and resources between like creating that awesome world and you know creating the stuff that you're going to actually use to like monetize that world, like the things like the recipe cards and you know stuff like that. Yeah, I wish there were more of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been really, really fun. So it, it, it's, I, I think right now in terms of priority, it's, it's having to do both things at once. Um, I am focused on the creative vision, but also the product side is very much in line with the creative vision as well as in coming up with the recipes that kids and families will both love, as well as the user experience in the product itself that actually makes meal planning enjoyable or a routine or a habit. So I'm focused mostly on those two products, the media content and the tech. We have also a team in the public health school that's focused on our partnerships. And basically that's establishing um, those relationships and understanding what our partners need. So when January 2017 hits, we have a plan to actually distribute our app to them. Other, other questions? I, I, I went from garden youth education to software development, and I'm curious whether you thought about incorporating some some form of um, like gardening in the car, you know, because a lot of kids, that is also something that gets kids to eat things if they're yeah. growing themselves and they get to pick it off the plant and eat it. Yeah, no, I think just connecting kids to food from the source is absolutely important. When we were looking at the market, we thought that there were already a lot of organizations, companies like Back to the Roots, that are focused on that. Um, we have been focused on building behavioral change in everyday habits, and something that we just saw was that parents need to feed their kids anyway. Um, they, they also had a low willingness to, of, of time and spend for additional activities around food enrichment, because unfortunately, it's just not a priority at this moment. So definitely to expand, since I think that can be a magical and important experience of food, um, but not the focus at the moment. Other questions?